So the question is a little bit uh, blurred. So I'm writing here. Then please recheck it's correct or not. Okay. So sine theta divided by sine theta plus cos theta and cos theta divided by this one, right? Uh, yes. And you have to prove this one. Yes. Okay. So firstly, you did the LCM. Right. Yeah, so if I take the LCM, then what you get? Sine theta plus cos theta and the sine theta minus cos theta, right? Yep. So it becomes sine theta, sine theta minus cos theta plus cos theta divided by sine theta plus cos theta. Yes. Yep. And the next step, you did the multiplication. So what you get? sine square theta minus sine theta cos theta plus cos theta sine theta plus cos square theta and complete divided by sine square theta minus cos square theta right uh yeah although so i got it wrong on the answer. paper right yes yeah, you did this step wrong because yeah. you can see it's a plus b and a minus b right so you can write a square minus b square okay so you get sine square theta plus cos square theta divided by sine square theta minus cos square theta right all uh, right yeah they but you have to prove tangent square plus one so you can do this question by two ways if you have to become tangent then I can see divided cos square theta in the numerator and the denominator. Yep. Like this way. Divided by sine square theta divided by so you can say sine upon cos and this one plus one divided by tangent square theta minus. Oh. Okay. Clear this one? Yeah that, yeah, that makes sense. So you want to copy this one or not? Uh, yes, I will. Yeah, sure. Just a second. Okay. Okay, so next part is done. It's next part. Hence, find the exact solution. So, it's correct this one? Okay. No, I'm asking to you. Uh, yeah. So, this one is, yes, this one is correct. Okay. I just put uh, two unnecessary answers for theta, but it still counted. Yeah, now it's correct answer. Yours, theta equals to pi by 3. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So next question is, you have given two functions f and g, right? Right. So fx, you have given x plus 1 by x for x positive and gx, you have given ax plus 1 for x belongings to r, means real number. Right. Right. So firstly, a is any constant. Okay. So function f is defined, it means you have to take x always positive. Why? Means you have given restriction. If x is 0, then it not defined. Sorry? I'm saying this step is clear. Why you have given this one? Uh, Why right, yes. x can't be 0? Because if x is 0, then you can say 1 by 0 is not defined. Right. 
so that's yeah. why this you have given the restriction but mm -hmm. in this one x can be any real number it means it can be negative zero and positive yeah so first part is done you have find go means gf mm -hmm. this one yep so g f of x x plus 1 by x right uh, plus 1 yeah and so it means this first step first part is your correct this is the answer yeah second part is also correct g f of 2 this one you have given so you have given this one and you have to calculate the value of a this is also correct okay. right yep. but the next part is given that the graph of y equals to fx has a minimum point when x is 1 so explain whether or not f has an inverse so you have to find it inverse okay so means y equals to fx you have given and has a minimum point at x equals to 1. Means f function you have given this one. So uh, I yeah. can write this is equals to y. Okay. And it's a minimum point x equals to 1. Yeah, it's correct because x is positive. So minimum value if x is 1, then y is 2. So, uh, so the f of x does have an inverse so you have to check it explain whether or not it has an inverse or not right okay so yeah. how do you find its inverse um tell me. the way i do it would you would swap the x and y values so, if so here, yes yeah. swap the x and y and then try and solve for y again so in this question you did simply you only find the value of f of n but question is asking you have to find right. it inverse yes so how do we find it inverse you have given y equal to fx so you have to find x equal to f inverse y yes means this equation you have given y in terms of the x but you have to find the value of x in terms of y okay so can I take its LCM x square plus 1 divided by x? Um, yeah. If I do the cross multiply, then x, y equals to x square plus 1. So you get x square minus x, y plus 1 equal to 0. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to find the value of x. Uh, do you complete the square? So, you can use the quadratic formula. Okay. Would completing the square also work? or? Yeah, you can do, but completing square method, how can you find the value of x also? Uh, using the completing the square. Um, then? You would uh, bracket x. x minus y over 2. Oh, then? wait. It's a perfect square. Then how will you do? Yeah. Because you have to find the value of x. So I can right. write a is 1, b is minus y, c is 1. Okay. Yeah. So x equals to minus b. So b square minus 4 divided by 2. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. So now tell me, its inverse exist or not? Um. doesn't yes. seem like it yes it's inverse exists because if oh. x is minimum value is one then the minimum value of y is um, i don't really understand okay see no problem y equals to x plus one by x you have given right yes so you have to find the inverse of this function and you have given the minimum value of x is one Mm -hmm. So, if you put x is 1 here, then y is 2. two. It means if you are substituting the minimum value of x is 1, then y.